So coming up, we also have a Lanky Hurricane number one, and also a Hurricane number two. Oh man, check out the color on this. Magnificent. So we meet again. Is it's Mr. Grow? How's it going? I cannot be lying about having a casual Lamborghini Huracan. It's 
the 610 dash 4. Hey, yo, cuz, what you doing out here? Spotted. Quite sheesh. And there he goes. Still freaking loud. I love it. most favorite SVJ of them all but sadly so quite dirty Princess Freya yeah, pray that you must get your car washed It's lady driven. Back on the Zorus. Quite do like it myself. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, there he is again. Turns out he got his window smashed. An orange Aventador S Roadster. This another Audi RSQ8. It looks like a Lamborghini Diablo. Oh man, back in the 90s. Gated manual as well. Oh man. Quite if I like these OEM stock wheels. It's a Diablo VT Roadster. Over here we got an SVJ Roadster. I do love it in yellow indeed. Check out the exposed carbon. Well it's polished carbon. Carbon also here. Carbon everywhere, which I do in fact like. In fact, this is my most favorite spec of them all. The windows. Right here over here, we also have the Hurricane Evo rear-wheel drive variant. The best that you guys could tell of the front bumper. I'll actually show a side by side picture between the all wheel drive variant and the rear wheel drive variant, which you will see. 
And also over here we got an SVJ and this nice matte polish finish which I do in fact like myself. And then as you can see here, I quite fact do like the seats. And also here we got an Urus. I believe this is someone's personal car. Well, so Shay isn't just an Audi RS Q8. Well, though, quite in fact, do re recommend. Doors that can go up. The butter, the infamous butterfly doors, indeed. Cause this actually represents Lamborghini right here. Close up inspection of the interior. Quite to do a fat like. Especially like the whole like leather, and especially. I recommend come here if you want to have the full experience. Another oos. Would the oos come? We also have a Lamborghini Huracan Spider. And I like his license plate. It says I do. Huh, a Lamborghini or is an Audi RE V10 Plus. Good good combo. I knew that I could find it. Look over there. I finally have spotted my dream car. As you can see folks, we actually have my dream car of all time. The Lamborghini Merchilago LP670-4 Super Veloce. Uh, I finally found it at last. The main reason why I fell in love with this car is as she's back in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010. Trust me, with, with it, with the green verde, looks it so nice. But if I get one of these one day, I will actually will, will wrap it in another gray. Sorry guys, I'm me stuttering because I can't believe I actually look it at my dream car. Now this Vector S Roadster is pretty common to see now here, but although quite doing that light. Can't believe I actually am seeing it with my own eyes. My dream Lamborghini, the Marshallago SV. And over here we got a Lamborghini Aventador. I believe this is a 700 dashboard. Just basically all standard, but I love this orange. Comment down below, a Vendador or a Vendador SVJ Roadster. Alright, what else would I like to sit in the driver's seat on one of these? We're about to find out. I did it. And now I'm inside of the Aventador SVJ. Ah oh, man. 1449 mileage on it. Now check out the carbon fiber on this. Hell oh, jeez. Trash up on this too is like sheesh dude. Now check out the Zaragi. Ooh, it's all cream. Creamy indeed. Another Aventador S Roadster. Look who just arrived! Yes, sir! <laughs> right, so I made it to the spot. So the car that I'm going to see is right there. Let's see what's new. So just now we had the new Hurricane STO. 
Honestly, I'm doing this on myself, I'm trying to apply light. So here up in first are the brand new Hurricane STL. It's a $350,000 exotic car. <laughs> now check out the titanium pipage there as well. Here we go. What's it like to sit inside of one of these? We're about to find out. Carbon fiber doors, quiet by the light. This is a Chucky Beat production. Oh. <sighs> now, this is good. So, the interior of one of these, I quite a do like. This is a Chucky Beat production. Oh man. Carbon fiber everywhere, plus Al Alcantara. I love this indeed itself. Even though that there's about 150 of them ever made. So here's the bump button showcase display. Reverse, park, manual, even the emergency thing. To flip, do that. As you can see. The see here. Now check out the carbon on this, but just even the little display case over there. Well right here at least, sorry. Sorry guys, I just outward because I gotta hurry, hurry this up quick. Alright, time to shut it down. I don't, it won't open for me, I don't know why it's open. Oh. Um, Oh, check out this huge carbon fiber pa panel piece. Like, I could actually collect this all by myself. And for storage capacity, not that much. <laughs> not that very good to, to, to go gross grocery shopping. No, just for a helmet. <laughs> Which is like the sad thing, thing about it too. Because I would The storage capacity on one of these very, very weak. So anyway, that's the new Hurricane STL, a limited production Lamborghini Huracan. If I do say so myself, literally all power rock rockets. SVJ galore, man. This is the same exact one that I was in. <laughs> now check this out. Such a beaut indeed. Beauty. There's even a Huracan Evo as well. But rumor has an update. I'm pretty much sure this is a limited edition spec of it. Now the Huracan Purple Mate is probably like my third favorite Huracan of all time. Second one, the Super Trofeo and the Super Trofeo Evolution. But as you see when the interior wise, it's pretty much sure it's the same. But it's all forged carbon interior. The interior check of the Huracan STO. I mean, the Hurricane Evo is pretty much sure it's the same as the Purple Monte with the forged carbon interior as well. Now, over here we have Batman. <laughs> Bat Batman in the showroom in all gloss black. Now, this is the regular SVJ hard top, the one that was in the soft top, which is that one. Now, for the Lamborghini Urus, it's pretty much as the most overrated Audi of all time. But I do like the neon green interior. Ah, huh. pretty like it indeed. So here's up in personal with the forged carbon interior. Forged carbon interior. Also like the seats. These are the, I think these are the comfort bucket seats. I'm not sure. Well, although I do prefer that one because it's left, left and dry because I'm originally from the U US. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, though. The yellow one, at least, is a lot more better.